Rise of Bronx Drill, OGs versus YGs versus Sevside. Zing through the air within seconds. Search for the gunman who killed a. This is mad fucking federal. Search for the gunman who killed a be teenager in lie. the Bronx. I cannot Police lie. believe the victim, 13-year-old Jerian Elliott, was not an innocent bystander and could have been targeted. The shooting happened this afternoon on East 187th Street in the Bronx. Elliott was shot several times in the chest. Surveillance shows Jerron Elliott in says. red pants shot zing through the air. You're Within federal, seconds, nigga. You're literally the cops. A restaurant. A You're literally a paid, unpaid him. intern. Police say he got shot in the ankle and chest. Other weekend of deadly gun violence in New York City. Four teenagers were shot in separate incidents. Three of them died. Around 11.30. Sunday night by the corner of East 178th Street and Webster Avenue in the Bronx. Police say two men the lottery. scooters up next to a cab Medrano was taking to a recording studio. They then shot him in his head and chest, killing Niggas took him to the stool, said, now nah, we about to make this song, Brody. You know what I'm saying? You a five feet to shot him in the chest in the head. Like, what the fuck? Here in the Bronx. Is that a level we have not seen in decades? Anything mentioned in the story that hasn't been proven in the court of law is simply just speculation and should be treated as such. He did that shit, nigga. Rest in peace to those that lost their lives. All right, so what's up, everybody? We got to talk about the Bronx drill scene that's been blowing up recently. Over the last few years... I don't years, like this nigga channel, though. I like, uh, what's that shit called? What's that shit called? Trap, trap geek. Has had all the attention in the drill rap scene, but in 2021, it seems that the Bronx is taking that title. An artist by the name of K Flock has the torch for the Bronx right now after he just inked a record deal, which is rumored to have been worth over a million dollars, and he remixed his hottest song, Being Honest, with a feature from G Herbo. Ironically, that song, Being Honest, was actually made as a response to a challenge started by a Brooklyn rapper named Siggy Black over the beat he used for his. Who he got signed to? Who he got signed to? Song, Dishonest. Similar to how Brooklyn introduced the US to UK beats, the Bronx is bringing their own twist by using sampled beats with a New York UK twist to them. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Everybody saying this garbage is this and that. Like, I don't know, niggas just be hating, bro. Niggas just be hating. Like, it's a good wave. It's a good wave. Like, every, like everybody does fucking drill music, nigga. Everyone does drill music. But they put a new spin onto it. What's so, what's, what's so bad about it? In fact, just over a week ago at the time of this recording, D Thang, one of K Flock's rivals and his blood cousin, dropped a song in Who I Smoke fashion called Talk Facts, which he samples the 2011 hit Need Your Love, in which he disses almost hey, every, we just heard that shit, right? every other hood in the Bronx. A YouTuber by the name of We Drill Crazy dropped a video in which he breaks down the lyrics and showcases each name drop. Nigga, I, it's damn near a different name. In I each do vlog. not like drill music. Me, either. I don't bump drill music. I'll link his video below so you. Till I heard it, you're ready. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm fuck with the Bronx drill shit though. I'm fuck with the Check Bronx drill shit. The Bronx has always been known as one of the wildest boroughs in the city. Charlemagne the God always says the craziest people come from the Bronx and all oh, of God. Florida, and that for the oh, most part is true. The Bronx is no stranger really to gangs, out there. drugs, and violence. During the Prohibition era, the Bronx... Right, I don't know why I tried to make it seem like I should just True. that dirty, nigga. The Bronx is no stranger I to mean, gangs, drugs, and violence. Is. During the Prohibition era, the Bronx was home base Man, for several months. Well, you got the sword on you like that. Mafia members, mm. including Dutch Schultz, who was... Ain't you from the Bronx? Yeah, nigga. ...to have buried over $150 million worth of diamonds, gold, and cash somewhere in the borough before he was gunned down in 1935, but the treasure has never been found. It was a hub for organized... Wait, what? Wait, before, what they said about some treasure, nigga? The era, the Bronx was home base for several Mafia members, including Dutch Schultz, who was rumored to have buried over $150 million $150 worth of diamonds, million. gold, and cash somewhere in the borough before he was gunned down in 1935. Get out of that shit at then, nigga. Nah, somebody got that shit and disappeared, nigga. But the treasure has never been it means they are from It was a hub for organized money crime money up until the late 90s when there was a large migration of Africans and Latinos, which caused a lot of the European settlers to move elsewhere. In the 70s and 80s, East 187th Street, now known as Sevside, which is K Flox. Pelham Parkway. Oh, look, this is my shit right here, chat. Look, this is my shit right here. This is my shit right here, nigga. You see in big letters, nigga. Big New Jack, nigga. Allerton Ave, right here. What'd you just laugh at? Huh? What'd you just laugh at? Um, I'm listening. <laughs> What'd you just laugh at? My headphones. Make sure, nigga, because if you wasn't carrying my son, I'd kill you right now, nigga. No GTA. What are you right. talking about? You laughing in your headphones? Yes, what are you talking All right, about? Nigga, keep it in your headphones then.
hood was primarily controlled don't run, by don't the drip. mafia. In the 90s, when the blacks and Hispanics started to move in, it pushed a lot of the mobsters out east into Morris Park. By the early 2000s, Southside was primarily ran by a one set called the East Homicide Brims. After what? a ton of internal and external beefs over the span of a decade, 700 DOA was birthed. Yeah, Southside is now made up of mainly Mac Bala Brims, Sex Money Murder, sword, and they're clipped up with the Rolling Stones from nigga. East 180th Street, also known hey, as Rape. Seven of the East Homicide in the Morris Park. By the early 2000s, Hispanics started to flock's hood was primarily controlled by the Italian Mafia. In the 90s, when the blacks and Hispanics started to move in, it pushed a lot of the mobsters out east into Morris Park. By the early 2000s, Southside was primarily ran by a blood set called the East Homicide Brims. After a ton of internal and external beefs over the span of a decade, 700 DOA was birthed. Southside is now made up of mainly Mac Bala Brims, Mac Sex Bala Murder, Brims. and they're clipped up with the rolling 80s Crips from East 180th Street, also known as Rayway. If you head three miles south from the Sev, you'll end up on Cortland Ave, which is OG's territory. Cortland okay. Ave in the South Bronx is a hood made up of three projects. The Melrose Houses, Melrose, Jackson Houses, and Morrisania Air Rights. What? The Bronx is a hood made up of three projects. The Melrose Houses, Jackson... Isn't this your shit right here, babe? Jackson? Jackson no, that's not South Bronx. This is not the Jackson projects. And Jackson don't have projects. That's not what it's called. Morrisania Air Rights, yeah. also known as Vietnam. Portland Ave has always been a wild hood. Yeah, but it's Since not. the 80s, drugs, gangs, and violence have been a prominent issue. In 2003, a new gang in the Bronx from was formed called word. the Young Gunners. The OGs and the YGs were initially one gang in the beginning. The YG the started... The YGs? <laughs> Bro, niggas is still YGs. And YBs. Nah, niggas is not YBs. That shit turned to 1090, I think. I think everybody who was YB turned to 1090. And two projects. You don't remember 1090? 1090, grimy. <laughs> No, I never Yo, bro, these okay. games just be so like this. They make up anything. <laughs> houses and the Patterson houses. Uh, when it was created, shit. its other main hoods were Cortland, Highbridge, so River Park Towers, or RPT, fact, which is where when it was, the YG started in two projects: the Mott Haven houses and the Patterson houses. When it was created, its other main hoods were Cortland, Highbridge, River Park Towers, or RPT, which is where D Thing is from. Yeah, I knew, I knew when they, River Park Towers. I, so that's where the D D Thing nigga is. RPT, yeah. I knew I was like, yeah, River Park Towers. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's in Clinton. That's right. Uh, next to Clinton High School, right? Right there. I got my nails done. Um, over there. and Jackson Ave. Or maybe I'm bugging. Maybe that's not it. I don't know. Cortland was called the Young Gunners from Cortland, or YGFC. At some point, the YG's leader, Juther Juhef Perez. Cried. I want them to do something like this, but Portland, but we have to blue. <laughs> Why do you want them to make a video about y'all gang business and shit like that? This is mad federal, nigga. <laughs> like, you should not want Portland. that. So YGFC left the YGs and changed their name to OGFC, which they later shortened to GFC, or God's Favorite Children, or just the OGs, original goons. When they left, the YGs started to beef with a lot of other hoods. Similar to Sev's side, Cortland had a lot of internal and external conflicts over the years, including a Rico not a documentary, but a little video on... This is the rise of Bronx drill. OGs versus YGs versus Southside. A sweep in 2000 op, called yeah, Operation definitely. Rotten Apple that led to the arrest it's okay. of the He's just enthusiastic. Members. He won't Portland the OGs on the map. from Cortland's biggest ops are still the YGs. As of right now, Cortland is clicked up with hybrid. I remember my mans had a game in Cortland, nigga. And the Sugar Hill OYs. Some notable I, rappers I, I come from the OG shit. side are Shaw EK, B Love, and CJ Goon. The YGs, on the other hand, what? are. No, I don't think so. Beefing with almost every other set in the borough and are one of the most hated gangs in the whole city. These three sets have been at each other's necks for a long time now, but things really started to boil over in July of this year, which led to three teens losing their lives in the same week. On Thursday, July 7, 2021, at around 11.35 p.m., Tyquil Doherty, also known as Ty Swish, was gunned down in front of his apartment building on That's East 182nd up. Street. On East Bronx. 182nd? The 19-year-old had been shot in the head in the lobby of his Bronx apartment building, where he ran outside before he collapsed. A family member said that her two children found Ty Swisher's unconscious body sprawled out on the ground with Damn, a single he got, wound he got in his eye. Boomed in his he was own then rushed lobby. to St. Barnabas Hospital, How is that where he unfortunately Well, succeeded. obviously it's possible. I'm saying, like, niggas just found that where you live, nigga. Like, I'm saying, you gotta be careful. Because y'all boys be on Facebook. That's tough. I send the Addy, and niggas be really sending their addresses. A witness described the Lord shooter saying he fled in a dark colored four-door sedan, but no other information has been discovered. Ty was described as a good kid by his family and neighbors. Niggas is always a good kid when niggas die. Everyone's a good kid when they die. But he was a gang member pushing sex money murder, and he was unfortunately caught lacking. 
It would only take four days for his side to get their get back, though. Damn, nigga spent back immediately. Nigga, it only took four days. Police believe the victim, 13-year-old Jerian Elliott, was not an innocent bystander and could have been targeted. Surveillance shows Jerian. Bro, you killed the 13-year-old? What the fuck? Elliot. What you know about SWM? In red pants shot zing through the air within seconds he squared that nigga was running Jerry dumb fast was not an innocent bystander and could have been targeted so Jerry decide to get their get back though police believe the victim 13 year old Jerry oh, Elliott old, was bro. not an innocent bystander and could have been targeted surveillance shows Jerron Elliott in red pants shot zing through the air within seconds he scrambles inside a restaurant a crowd surrounds him Police say he got shot in the ankle and chest. On Sunday, Damn, he July got 11th. shot in the ankle and the chest. Is this the gunman or is this just somebody else zooming Bystander down the block? And, been... and this is the summertime, nigga. Surveillance shows. It's hot out. This ain't got a tank top on only. No armor, nigga. Jerron Elliott. Me, nigga. I'm outside with a... Nigga, look, why you got a black, all black Nike tech on outside in 95 degree weather? Because I got a goddamn vest throwing under that bitch, nigga. What the fuck? In red pants. Shots zing through no the air. Way. Within seconds, he scrambles inside a restaurant. A crowd surrounds him. Police say he got shot in the ankle and chest. On Sunday, July 11th, 2021, at around 3 p.m., Jerry and Elliot, also known as Jay Rip, a 13-year-old member of the Royal 80s bro. Crips, was walking down East 187th bro, Street at 13. with a friend. Yeah, Surveillance that. footage would capture the two boys walking in front of Angel's Cafe when Jay Rip's friend would take off running. A black sedan had come to a stop in front of the cafe and a man got out and opened fire on the teens. He was seen crawling into the cafe and was brought to the hospital Damn, shortly after. he got but hit unfortunately, up. he didn't make it. He didn't even look back for his man, but you can't look back, nigga. Y'all both just gotta keep running. Nigga, what's he supposed to do? Sit there, nigga, and keep, get, keep getting boomed at? It's kind of fucked up. Teen, he had already been arrested eight times, and investigators say he was at the scene of the crime when 19-year-old Ty Swish was killed, although it isn't believed he was the shooter. At the end of September, a 16-year-old that goes by the name Dolo G's was picked up as J-Rip's alleged killer, but there isn't much public information surrounding this because he's still a juvenile. Less than eight hours after J-Rip was killed, another teen would meet a tragic end in a retaliation hit. Dolo G's. Around 11.30 Sunday night by the corner of East 178th Street and Webster Avenue in the Bronx, police say two men pulled scooters up next to a cab Medrano was taking to a recording studio. They then shot him in his head and checked cab Medrano. Webster Avenue in the Bronx. Police say two men pulled scooters up. Pulled scooters up. Next to a cab Medrano was taking. To Next to a cab the victim was taken. To a recording studio. They then shot him in his head Damn. and chest, killing him. 16-year-old Ramon Gil Medrano, a rapper that went by the name Rajis and had ties to the 800 YGs, got that into a on his way to hang out with a friend. Shortly after he was picked up, two men on a scooter pulled up alongside the car and opened fire, hitting Rajis in the head three times. He's doing drive bys on scooters. Bro, it's filthy out here, nigga. Times before speeding off. <laughs> it's filthy, the nigga. The tragic video went viral on social media as the Uber driver's dash cam captured the entire incident. The driver can be seen flinching as the shots go off, and he seemingly utters the words, Night, night, young man, as he looks back at the boy's lifeless body. Investigators believe that Rajis was also at the scene of Jay Rip's murder. And nigga, what? The cab driver said, What, nigga? The cab driver said, night, night, young man. Nigga, what? Nah, this is a setup. Yeah, that's a setup. Nigga, what the fuck? Why didn't he freely further expand on what the fuck he just said? What the fuck? Video went viral on social media as the Uber driver's dash cam captured the entire incident. The driver can be seen flinching as the shots go off, and he seemingly utters the words, night, night, young man, as he looks back at the boy's lifeless body. Investigators believe that Rajis was also at the scene of Jay Rip's murder, and he was targeted because he quickly took to social media to mock Jay Rip just hours. This is this is the same video. New at five, we're hearing from part of the video here because families. But first, what is just too difficult to walk too far? Away? And while I spoke with police, just moment, police say on Sunday he was in the Bronx in a taxi on 178th Street near Valentine Avenue when someone shot him point blank in the head and chest. He died immediately. But it's not. It's not the dash cam. It's not the dash cam, bro. Not the dash cam. 
It's funny how I searched it up and this is exact, like the exact thing came up. This was three months ago? Oh shit, this was this summer. Niggas was wildin' this summer. I know it was summer chat, but I didn't know it was this summer. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's ridiculous. Before he himself lost his life. A year prior to his passing, Rajis had survived a shooting that had almost taken his life. He was in the hospital in critical condition for several days, but yeah, niggas been trying to kill that his mother said that the shooting caused him to be more cautious and walk the straight and narrow. But in the three months before his passing, he'd been arrested three times and had an active warrant for a carjacking. A 15 and 16 year old were identified as the boys on the scooter and arrested for the murder. But again, there isn't much public information because of their age. In August of 2021, Kay Flock dropped a song called Is You Ready? In the opening verse, he says, Reference. I could do sh like ice did the sunny. Damn. Well, you took a nigga finger, nigga. In one of the greatest movies ever made, paid him. Killed that nigga for, for fucking ransom, nigga. This was a subliminal diss towards his cousin D thing because if you remember in the movie. Oh. Okay. 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 I get what he's trying to say. He's trying to take his cousin out. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that was that his family, nigga. That was fucked up. Y'all seen paid him for? Movie, Ice was Sonny's uncle who had set him up to get kidnapped and killed. D Thang and K Flock had always been good, even though they were from rival gangs, but the diss caused a rip that led to D Thang taking the Instagram live to send an eerie subliminal where he says, He ain't related to me. Like Ice did this, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to see Auntie now. The beef took the life. Nigga said, I can't. <laughs> Bro, you know what was really crazy? Like, Nigga said, I can't wait to see Auntie now. Like, bro, so are they, pin like, is their sister, like, all right, look. There's their moms and sisters, nigga. Are they not cool? Like, does it go deeper than, than just them? Because, nigga, I can literally just pull up to your mama house, nigga. I mean, that's in the heart of the hood, though. So you ain't going to be safe, but feel me? Nigga, I could tell Auntie, yo, Mimi, me, I'm going to take you up. I mean, nigga, out. Hey, like, I'm beefing with my cousin. I'm taking my Auntie out, nigga. I'm taking my Auntie out, nigga. But then he could just take his auntie out with my mom. I ain't gonna lie. This is crazy. How do you beef with your actual blood? Cause I know, a, cause I know a nigga, cause I know a nigga from my hood and his uh, and his blood cousin was a big homie of the ops crew, the, of the ops hood. It was the big homie nigga. That nigga died though. <laughs> but yeah. Life of another Why teen on September. Laugh? <laughs> Why? Why? I did not. Right I here. did not laugh. What the fuck? Oh, you need to. What you laughed at? You need to fix that. No, I nigga, I was doing this, and I said, huh? 30th. 16-year-old Nasaya Sanchez, also known as Nas Rolla, a rolling 80s crip and one of K-Flock's affiliates, was shot and killed after two men jumped out of a gray Honda Accord and shot him in the head and chest and brought Wait, to affiliates. 16 year old Wait to see auntie now. The beef took the life of another teen on September 30th. 16-year-old Nasaya Sanchez, also known as Nas Rolla, a rolling 80s crip and one of K-Flock's affiliates. I cannot 16... fucking hear. Wait to see auntie now. The beef took the life of another teen on September 30th. 16-year-old Nasaya Sanchez, Nigga, this was also last known as Nas Rolla, a rolling 80s crip and one of K-Flock's affiliates, was shot and killed after two men jumped out of a gray Honda and had a fucking and baby, bro. chest in broad daylight on East 187th Street near Prospect Avenue. Nas Rolla had been arrested 18 times, most recently on September 5th for felony. Nigga got arrested 18 times. Possession. All of these Nigga events same. are truly mind-blowing when you realize that these kids are all just teens. Most of them go to the same high school, so you can find videos all over the internet of them fighting in school and actually going live to diss their ops in class. It makes it more disturbing that with the rise of social media, many of these killings are broadcasted on the internet for everyone to see. Some of the rappers are actually really talented and they make good music, but they literally commit crimes and then admit to them in their songs. If you yeah, ever I ain't gonna lie. This ain't like, I ain't gonna lie, chat. This ain't like the fucking Florida videos that we be watching, nigga. These niggas ain't 20, 21, 20. Nigga, these niggas is 15, nigga. The first nigga that died in the video was 13, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Up on what's going on in the Bronx streets. Just <laughs> listen to the latest drill song and you can hear all about it. It's only a matter of time before things escalate and we see these hoods going down for Rico cases. And that's that if ass. they can even stay alive long that enough ass. to make it. To that's why, feel me? You gotta get, you gotta sign that deal. You just gotta get the fuck up out of there, nigga. You gotta get out the streets. 18 to even get arrested. They're literally. Bibby was 13. Really when gambling died. with their lives daily. People like K Flock, D Thang, and the other talented artists need to realize that they have a lot of eyes on them right now and need to get out of the hood ASAP because they have a golden opportunity in front of them. What I mean, they don't have a golden opportunity, to be honest, if you really think about it. Like, he, like this is not regular rap, nigga. This is literally drill rap, nigga.
And the drill rap, yeah, drill rap be fire, but nigga. But the reason why drill rap really, really, really takes off and goes viral, and you can actually get a deal from it, is because that shit be real. And when it's real, it gains more attention, more traction. People listen more. People, you know I me. Mean? But yeah, he can make it out. But I'm saying, nigga, you better, you better, you you better hurry up and switch up the flow, nigga. And you gotta see if people fuck with it. If not, you got to still keep doing that drill music. And if you keep doing that drill music, then the op's still going to be mad and still going to hunt you down. Like, nigga, it's just, no, it's just nothing you could do. We'll just have to wait and see how this one plays out. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Anyways, nigga. Almost every time. I blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental.